I would like to welcome everybody here. Um, today we have Board of Trustees present, parents and guardians, other esteemed guests, members of the faculty and administration, our student body, and most of all, I would like to welcome the 2022 graduating class of the Knox School. <clears throat> and I was saying up here as the students were coming out, this is one of the reasons I love the school so much because when you look and you see our diversity and the beauty of our students, it's just, it's really amazing and you get to really see it on this day all in one place and all together and it's just it's it's great it's heartwarming and it saddens me this is the last time i'm gonna be able to see you guys but i know you're gonna move on and do some wonderful things um i want to just <clears throat> thank a few people before uh, we get started today um i want to acknowledge my administration uh team because um, after just now completing my first year of headship, um, even though I've been at the school for um, 12, this is going on my 12th year, um, the support I received from them and the listening ears and just everything that they've been uh, to me deserves a bit of thanks. So my Dean of Academics, Mrs. Donna Pergola, my Director of Athletics and Residential Life, Liam Power, my Director of Marketing and Communications, Dr. Karen Sonera Bush. My Controller, Denise Garing. Director of Student Care and Compliance, Barbara Masurlian. Director of Technology, Al Giuliano. And my Director of Admissions, Ms. Caitlin Adams Davis. Every person on the team, except for maybe one, has been at Knox either five years or more, and most of us more than 10 years. So these people really know the school, they love the school, and they work tirelessly day in and day out alongside me as partners to make it a better place, um, I feel, each year for the students who come next after the graduating class. I have to give another really heartfelt thanks to somebody who's actually right here beside me. Craig, can you stand up for a minute and come forward? Craig is the chairman of the Board of Trustees at Knox. I know some of the kids see him around and things like that and wonder, who is that guy? Well, this is Mr. Craig Novak. And um, he's really been such a great uh, support for me. Very invaluable as my first year of head of school. He's um, guided me so much. He's also been a trusted confidant and mentor to me. And um, he really does a great job leading the entire Board of Trustees. Um, and I want to thank them as well. We have some in attendance today. This is Linda Link, Mr. Joseph Valero, um, who's one of our newest members. <clears throat> I really can't um, thank all of you enough for your support. There's this fallacy in independent schools that there's kind of a you know a board that is that sits and doesn't do much else. That's totally not true of the Knox School Board. Um, they uh, do so much, not just for me, but for the students that nobody really knows behind the scenes. So. Um, I'm really excited to continue working together to keep Knox moving from good to great. So thank you all very much, admin team and board. You're doing a great job. Thank you. My biggest debt of gratitude today actually goes to all the people seated here, across from you and to my right. Um, these are our teachers, our dorm staff, our nursing staff, and these are the people who probably have the greatest influence on our student body because they are in the trenches with these students uh, day in and day out. They work extremely hard to keep all of our students well educated, happy, healthy. And without them, it's sort of like the foundation of everything that happens here. Things wouldn't be as great as they are for our students. So I want you to know that we appreciate all of you really much more than you know. And <clears throat> I am quite sure that our students do as well. So can we just give them a round of applause, please? And I would be seriously remiss if I did not thank our kitchen staff, our grounds crew and maintenance, our groomsmen at the barn, because they do the really tough labor that keeps the campus beautiful for everybody to enjoy. hard for me to come up with what to say to the senior class today because we were in such a state of turmoil I think for so long <clears throat> before we got to this point so I think I'm just going to keep it 
very brief. I feel like um, you probably are sick of hearing my words and my advice by now, and um, this is your day, so I want to focus on you. But I'm just going to share a few brief pieces of advice that have given been given to me that I kind of adapted to my own um, leadership in the past 35 years that I've been an educator and administrator. And I'm hoping that one day, if you remember one of these, it might help you on one occasion or another. Before you speak, listen. Before you write, think. Before you complain, appreciate. Before you quit, try. Before you rest, work. Before you spend, earn. So seniors, I bid you a fond farewell, and I hope you enjoy celebrating you today with your family and friends. At this time, will Miss Mia Sun, class valedictorian, with an overall GPA of 98.2, please come up and give your address to the school. board and faculty, and other community members. I hope you are all having an amazing day. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't want to stand up here originally. What would I, Mia Son, be able to say that will resonate with everyone? I didn't know. I truly did not really think about the valedictorian position until people I knew started saying I would get it. However, that didn't make me feel proud of myself. I just felt immense pressure and worry that I wouldn't meet people's expectations if I didn't get the title. However, when I found out that my dad will be able to attend my graduation, I suddenly appreciated the honor of being valedictorian. I realized I wanted to stand up here and express my gratitude to everyone who helped me make it this far. I wanted to stand up here and say, hey, Baba, Mama, what's Hong Kong la? It's honestly funny how life works. I failed first grade because I didn't know any English, and now I'm doing pretty okay, I think. <laughs> Baba. You immigrated to America 12 years ago for me to get the education future you have always dreamed of for yourselves. You didn't get the chance to graduate high school or attend college, but now I'm standing in front of you and today fulfilling our dreams. Thank you so, so much for always being my biggest supporters and for standing by my side even when I act like a moody temperamental teenager. now to acknowledge the obstacles our teachers had to face recently. They have had to teach classes online in the past couple of years, which is never easy. When we return to campus in September of 2020, we are masked and both online and in person, making teaching even more difficult. Some teachers have had to teach way more classes than humanly possible during this uncertain time, but they were still somehow able to do it all and more. On behalf of the class of 2022, we thank you all so much for everything you have done for us. Thank you for believing in us and pushing us to reach our full potential, especially through all you face as well. My close friends deserve a shout out as well. There are no words to express how grateful I am for you all. Whether we met years ago or just recently, you have all made a significant impact on who I am today. Thank you for all the memories, laughs, and late night conversations. Each of you have made high school more worthwhile, and I can't wait to see what all of you will accomplish in the future. I also wanted to take this opportunity while I'm standing in front of you all to not only express my gratitude, but touch on some very important events and issues that have occurred these past couple of years. We have all endured a lot recently, including some seemingly impossible things. We lived through a pandemic. We discover what it's like to roll out of bed a minute before class and just open up our laptops and log in. Many of us have felt the terror of having to cut our own hair and some turn out better than others, that's for sure. I definitely dyed my hair one too many times during quarantine and my friends can attest to that. COVID uprooted the lives of everyone in the world. Millions of people around the globe died as a result. Mandated isolation took a toll on mental health, especially among teenagers. The economy and stock market crashed as the world went into lockdown. As if a pandemic wasn't enough, 
The IPCC then reports climate change is not getting any better, and if nothing is done about it soon, there will be even more irreversible damage. Then, memes about World War III began circulating the internet. Governments around the world became dangerously unstable. Democracy was threatened in our country and abroad numerous times, ranging from censorship to a full-scale war. Political polarization escalated, limiting citizens to only seeing red or blue. Our government has also been passing and overturning laws that are taking away rights that people thought were secure because it is 2022 and not the 1800s. People are now terrified of going out to do daily activities like attending school and going grocery shopping in America because they don't know if they will make it back home. There are so many kids who won't get a walk across the stage and receive their diplomas like us today. History keeps repeating itself and nothing ever changes. Nothing. However, there is some light in the darkness. A woman of color became vice president for the first time in the history of the United States and we witnessed resilience and unity among people across the world when violence and bigotry sparked anger that led to a global movement that demanded justice. Just hearing all of this must be really overwhelming, so imagine living in it. This is the reality we live in today. I want to be clear that I'm not asking what your political affiliation is, nor am I asking you to change your views. I simply wanted to put the last few years of our lives into perspective to help us and others understand everything we have experienced recently. If nothing else, I think we have learned that impossible actually means improbable. In the face of all the adversity we as students have had to face, we should all be so proud of ourselves for making it this far. I know how difficult and overwhelming it is to continue to function in a world that's being constantly turned upside down. I get it. We may sometimes feel helpless and scared because it feels like there's nothing we can do to change the circumstances of this situation. There are days when we can't get out of bed and lack the motivation to do anything, and that is okay. Your grades might drop below where you used to. That is okay. You don't know what you want to do in the future. That is okay too. We can't blame ourselves for our natural reactions towards external factors. We react and we care because we're human. However, we all need to remember to breathe and take care of ourselves. The best we can do at the moment is enough. There's so much going on in the world, but we can't help anyone else until we help ourselves. Our health should take precedence above all, and when we are ready, our generation will be the force of change in the world if they aren't already. It is our responsibility to take a stand and fight the battles no one else will. Complacency is unacceptable. We cannot stay silent. The class of 2022 has left their mark on the Knox School, and now we must say farewell to leave our mark on the world. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2022. I wish you luck in all your future endeavors, and remember, if you put your mind to it, most things aren't impossible, only improbable. Thank you. Mia, thank, thank you so much. We will now hear a poem appropriate for this occasion, and it's going to be presented by Knox Academic Representative Vasya Tassiopoulos. As you set out for Ithaca, hope your road is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery. Lestagonians, Cyclops, angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that on your way, as long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit 
and your body. Lestagonians, Cyclops, Wild Poseidon, you won't encounter them unless you bring them along inside your soul. Unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope your road is a long one. May there be many summer mornings when, with what pleasure, what joy, you enter harbors you're seeing for the first time. You may, may you stop at Phoenician trading stations to buy fine things, mother of pearl and coral, amber and ebony, sensual perfume of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. And may you visit many Egyptian cities to learn and to go on learning from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always in your mind. Arriving there is what you're destined for. But don't hurry the journey at all. Better if it lasts for years, so you're old by the time you reach the island, wealthy with what you've gained on the way, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. Ithaca gave you the marvelous journey. Thank you. Thank you, Basia. We will now hear a choral selection by our choir under the direction of Miss Melissa Coyle.
It's now my pleasure to invite senior class president, Colleen Stevens, to the podium to present her farewell to the school. senior class president this year. It's been an honor to have this position, and it's an honor to be standing here before you all today. We live in an age where so much of our lives involves technology, and while it is beneficial for school, work, and other aspects of our lives, I know our parents and teachers are tired of telling us to get off of our phones. Ironically, my speech today is inspired by a very popular social media platform, one that my mom has wanted me to delete many times, TikTok. This trend surfaced around May or June of 2021, but I often find trends late, so I stumbled upon it in late fall 2021, already a couple months into senior year. It is known as the Mosaic Challenge or My Mosaic Trend. Now, a mosaic usually refers to an art form that has different colored pieces placed together to make a picture. However, in this trend, people share the habits and personality traits that they have developed because of the influence of those around them which creates their life mosaic. 
This trend is based on the idea that everyone we meet in our, life, in our lives is there for a reason, to help us learn and grow into the people we are destined to be. If we all think about our lives and loved ones, I'm sure a couple people come straight to mind for having influenced you. Here are some pieces of my life mosaic. I choose my first instinct whenever I'm answering a question because in fourth grade, my teacher to constantly told me to stop second guessing myself because I'm usually right the first time. I don't really mean pinky promises unless I kiss my thumb when the promise is being made because when I was little, my older sister did it and she told me that's how you lock in the promise. Sorry to anyone I've made a pinky promise with. I usually mean them regardless, but still. I listen to reggae music on road trips because my mom always played it when we went to road trips to Maryland, and now I find it comforting. I love bike riding, and I find it fun as an activity with loved ones because it was something that my dad taught me, and I always enjoyed the days we go riding. I tell people good skill instead of good luck because a teacher once told me that in many cases, luck can only help you but so much without skill. With those said, I want to acknowledge how Knox is part of my mosaic, as I'm sure it is for many of us. Knox is a part of my mosaic for the people, the traditions, and the memories I'll never forget. Here's some pieces of Knox that are part of my mosaic. Now, I was never a Marvel fan before Knox because I've never watched the movies, but I'll never leave a Marvel movie before the extra clip show at the end because on the Knox weekend trip when we went to see a Marvel movie, I moved to leave at the ending credits. And my friends laughed and explained how Marvel movies have post-ending credits, so now I'll never get up too early. When I hear a joke and it doesn't get a reaction, I hold up my hand for a fist bump and tell the person, good one, buddy, because some of the boys on the basketball team used to say it, and it made everyone laugh off a failed joke. Whenever I'm frustrated and I see someone else riled up by an emotion, I think to myself, Usa, because Coach Jenny would have the girls on the volleyball team, Usa, to calm down and focus on the task at hand. And I've learned that it is better to say something than nothing at all, even if you do not know what the result may be, because of the opportunities that I had to speak up for myself at Knox. These pieces are only a few examples of how Knox was added to my mosaic, so I want to thank some people for being a part of it. Thank you to my teachers. I'm sincerely grateful for all of the time you've taken with me to help me learn, and I'll always remember those moments where I've made memories and learned, li learned life lessons from you guys as well. Thank you to my parents. I literally owe you my life, and I want to thank this, take this opportunity to thank you for all that you do for me even through all the trials and tribulations that I put you through. And though I don't refer to them specifically as such, thank you to my mentors for guiding me and showing me the right from wrong when I can no longer differentiate between the two for myself. Thank you to my friends, all of my friends in general, but more specifically, Leah and the Powwow Girls, for always listening to me and putting up with my antics. Every person I have met here at Knox has added to my life in some way, no matter how small of an addition that may be. Seniors, as we graduate and go to our teachers, we will meet more people who will add to our life mosaics, and that is truly an amazing thing. The person you are today is not the same person that you were many years ago, and it's not the same person that you will be many years from now. Mosaics are beautiful for how they put many pieces together to create art, and you should love all the pieces of your mosaic that makes you, you. I found this trend really wholesome, and I hope you all do too. So with that, I close wanting you to all remember that we are all a mosaic of everyone we've ever met. The bits and pieces that we gain from our loved ones, plus our own opinions, lessons, and memories we have, shapes us into who we are. So think about it. Who and what makes up your mosaic? Congratulations, graduates. Good skill and good luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much, Colleen. At this time, I would like to invite Miss Leah Anderson, our student council president, to please come forward and present the Semper Ad Lucum speech. Let's go, Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to all our graduates. Our hard work and faith kept us going until the year, and that you should be proud of yourself. 
At the beginning of this year, I introduced myself as the head honcho. Honcho means squad leader or person who's in charge in Japanese. And this term reflects how I viewed my position as student council president. I was so excited and nervous to be student council president, as I did not want to fail. Being head honcho is about being passionate, confident, having school spirit, but most importantly, care. I embody what it means to be the head honcho. So much so, it has become part of my personality. Caring for your fellow peers, teachers, administrators, and care for all. Caring about the well-being of others. That's what separates a head honcho from someone who's leading. Besides that, big man. Four years seem like a long time, but it goes by faster than a knock sunshine. Which might not be saying anything, because everything goes by faster than a knock sunshine. <laughs> Over the four years, I experienced many things. Heartbreak, joy, fun. Greatness is one of them. Knox has taught me that greatness not only surrounds me because of the people I've met and have seen do great things, but also because of what lies within me. Everyone has a life, and I had the honor of experiencing each one over the years. My freshman friends, oh how we've grown. Basia, Lainey, Steph, Elsa, Izzy. <laughs> um, okay, from our freshman year until now, we have managed to create and explore many things. I want nothing but the best for you all. Let's continue to carry on our optimism and usefulness. Life can get rough, and it's not smooth sailing, and the ride has just begun. New endeavors can sometimes cloud our view, but if we remain steadfast and continue to look for our light, it will be all right. It is when our light cannot be found that we will lose our way. Our humble beginnings will guide us to greatness, and I'm sure of that. I met some great people in Knox, and I would like to thank them for molding me into the person I am today. Aaron. I did not like you when I first met you. <laughs> I must confess, I still do not like you now. <laughs> I'm joking. Thanks for being the best improv partner and the best friend anyone could ever ask for. Your fiery passion inspires me. Always be a part of the fight for change, and I know I'll be seen on SNL one day. Follow your heart, and life will open up for you. Colleen Virginia Stevens. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend, partner in crime, producer, roommate, manager, and always a source of positivity. What an excellent mercy. I will miss you more than you can imagine. Please always remember you are stronger and more amazing than you give yourself credit for. I can't wait to see the things you will accomplish. You are a gem and a beautiful soul. Always believe that you are. Thank you for everything. Coach Bakery, Coach Jenny from the block, Mr. Henry, Professor E, Coach Vasquez, Mrs. Kilgannon, Mrs. Riccardi, and Mrs. Pergola, and all my other mentors. Thank you for showing me the light and reminding me to never give up on myself, especially when times are tough. The strength I used to conquer those difficult times was not my own. It came from friends, family, teachers, and administrators. Here are some things that they have said to me I want to share with you all that I hope will resonate with you as it did for me. You are a very special young lady, and you're about to put a stamp on this world. Coach Baker, always believe in yourself, even on your toughest days, because if it comes down to it, my bet is always on you. Coach Jenny. Don't disappoint me now, Mr. Henry. <laughs> Sometimes we all need a break. You don't have to have it all figured out now, Mrs. Kilkenny. You're a daisy in a field of roses, kid, Coach Vasquez. Just breathe, Leah. Try and just breathe. That's sweet. Thank you for being my life and my support. My mother, my rock, and my everything. Thank you for teaching me the value of kindness and always supporting me. You are the epitome of strength and resilience. You taught me everything I needed to know about conquering the world. And look, Dad, I did it. Looking back, I remember all the things that made my Knox journey beautiful. I remember ins my inspiring talks with Mrs. Mads and Mrs. Nadia and seeing Let It Go and Mrs. Pergola's AP side class. I remember teaching Xana basketball when my own skills were below average. I remember the first and last time trying out crew and having living room sleepovers at night. I remember online chemistry classes and having dance parties and sales every night. I remember meeting my forever TikTok instructors, Joy and Mercy. I remember all the silly jokes Karan and Joseph made in stats class to Will dancing in the middle of bio class in ninth grade. I remember Ra always being kind and Liam Spinner explaining the different type of car engine. Sorry, Liam, I'm still gonna this one. <laughs> I remember helping Declan solve the LA Times crossword puzzle. Well, he was solving it and I was there for moral support. <laughs> but, and I don't know how we did it, but we did it together. And of course, I remember all the fun Friday videos from last year. Knox is a place where you can take your education in any direction you want. You are the captain of your own ship. There's no real manual on how to navigate life, but here are some of my tips that helped me along the way. Number one, 
Be courageous. Courage doesn't have to be big, loud, or dangerous. Courage is facing any adversity, big or small, and tackling it in your own way. Be your own advocate. You're the biggest supporter that you have. Use your voice, and do not let anyone silence you. Your voice acts as a window of opportunity when none seems to be present. Your voice is the most powerful weapon you have. Use it wisely, please. Lastly, be yourself. When all the trends fade, you will always have yourself. No one has the shine, the heart, or soul like yours. You are beautifully and wonderfully made, so act like it. Everyone, adults, students, teachers included, repeat after me. Greatness lies within me. And I choose to be great. I'm a gift to myself, my family, and my community. I will uphold standards of excellence. This is a promise to myself that I will work hard. The promise to myself that I will work hard. Be disciplined and be responsible. I am the change that I want to see. It won't be easy, my friends. Definitely not. But we are on the brink of greatness, and our futures are so bright. To my fellow Knox students. Don't let anyone or anything deter you from shining and thriving. Even if your path is not what you originally wanted or planned, you will always find a way. To the graduating class, carry the light that was seen during the, your time here at Knox. Set your candles a week. I will miss you all dearly. It has been a beautiful journey, and I'm so appreciative that I've spent all this time with you. But in order for new things to start, all things must come to an end. Today is bittersweet. I'm not ready to leave this place that I know and the people that I know for what seems like centuries. Look at today, look at today not as the number of people who are leaving, but as an opportunity to take up the torch and pass on what we are leaving behind. A wonderful legacy. I hope each moment brings you all prosperity and happiness. Success is almost always bound to come if you consistently work hard and have faith. Being head honcho is about confidence. Confidence is knowing what is true, and I'm confident in this. You all standing before me are my family. And no matter how far we are from each other, we will find our way back. We are part of something way bigger than any one of us can imagine. Thank you for allowing me to experience a family that I never knew I needed and for giving me memories that I never knew I wanted. Thank you for allowing me to be your head honcho. You all mean so much to me. Semper Aluto. And head honcho out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. At this time, we move into our awards and prizes. And um, before Mrs. Pergola conducts this presentation, I am going to present the Headmasters Award for 2022. So if Chairman of the Board, Mr. Novak, would proceed down onto the ground level to help me present the award. So choosing this year's recipient was definitely very difficult and a monumental task that kept me up many nights and that I've been thinking of for many months. And um, I read the description of the award over and over, just as I did with the other award that will be distributed today, which is the Semper Ad Lucum Award, the highest award that is granted um, by the school, before I solidified my decision um, for both. So, this was difficult because we have so many amazing seniors um, in this class. So let me read the description to you. It's the Clifford K. Erickson Headmasters Award. Um, Cliff Erickson was the longest standing head of school. He was here for almost 30 years. And when he left, the faculty uh, gave this award to commemorate his um, nearly three decades of service to the school. Um, the award is selected by the head of school and it's given to the student whose contributions to the school have been outstanding, uh, someone of stature, whose presence has enriched the lives of everyone at the school. And basically I chose this person because I found this person to be very open-minded, very fair, very kind, um, and generally just a strong and positive presence that was really demonstrated in the past two years, and in particular, I think this year. 
um, when I felt like the student exhibited so much amazing growth in so many areas. So in 2022, I have chosen Mr. Karan Stevens to receive the Headmaster's Award. is the Carolyn Fell Award, presented in memory of Carolyn Fell, who served Knox for 26 years on the Board of Trustees. It is awarded to the senior who is ever faithful to Knox, who is dedicated to a cause, who is steadfast, hardworking, and who has a love of life and never gives up. The winner of the Carolyn Fell Award this year is Lainey Link. Class of 1935 presented this award to the school. It is given annually to the senior who most nearly exemplifies cheerful, unobtrusive, and unselfish service to others. The winner of the Stewart Bowl in 2022 is Demetria Lutz. This award is the highest honor given to a student. The Semper Ad Lucan plaque is presented annually to that student who shows loyalty to the school, sound common sense, who is democratic, has high scholarship, and is a well-rounded student, dependable at all times. In 2022, the Semper Ad Lucan Award is given to Vasya Tassin. the head of school Virginia Riccardi and Craig Novak chair of the Knox School Board and Trustees will now present diplomas to the members of the class of 2022. 
seniors, when your name is called, please come down to receive your diploma. Leah Anderson. Leah will be attending the University of Miami. in our equestrian program for the 22-23 school year. University. <laughs> Joseph Kogabasi. Joseph will be attending Hofstra University. Taylor will be attending St. Lawrence University. Andrea is considering attending Hartford University. Juliana. <laughs> Stephanie will be attending Farmingdale State University. attending the Stevens Institute of Technology. Han 
Arn will be attending Pratt Institute, where he will be playing Division III soccer for the Cannoneers. Walker Harris. Elsa will be attending the University of Alabama. attending Suffolk County Community College. City State University. Oh, 
Florida Institute of Technology. attending the University of Kansas as a Division I rower for the day. attending the University of Southern California. Los Linking Tessiopolis. Columbia University Barnard College. Yeah. 
how you ended. How Yen will be attending Fordham University. George Washington University. Congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2022. Thank you, Mrs. Pergola. At the conclusion of our ceremony, our graduates will persist to the water's edge. And once um, we leave here, um, you guys can all persist out after us to the receiving line um, to wish our graduates well on the next phases of their journeys after Knox. But right now the seniors will gather in the Elsa Erickson Rose Garden here in front of me to sing their final farewell to the school. This way, the middle. This way. <laughs> Day, 
the tassel on your cap begins on the right side because that symbolizes your time as a high school student and it shows that you're a candidate for graduation. And now that you are all officially graduates, it is time to show the world your new status. So please, at this time, move your tassel from right to left. At this time, our seniors are going to recess. They will form a line right behind the dais here, and I ask that everybody please stand while they leave and face them, and then we will announce them.